Hey everyone, welcome back to No Man's Sky Expeditions. This is the, uh, ooh, look at that ship. This is the uh, exobiology. And I was just looking at what's going on here, what all I need to do. So I need to adopt a beetle. So maybe at the next rendezvous, got rendezvous two, there's gonna be a beetle there. Need to go to the anomaly and modify an egg. I need to discover four flying creatures. I already found one on this planet. This is still the rendezvous one planet, but there's another one over here. Need to gather three types of eggs and I need to, what was the other one? Search the dung samples and need to adopt companions. I should have got one of those diplos, but there's probably some around here. I'm not gonna leave this planet yet. I'm gonna find some diplos. And it said, and there's one about, um, maybe I'll just adopt this thing over here. There was something about um, getting three types of eggs. It's like, here, I'm gonna give you some food. Then you're gonna talk to me and I am going to adopt you. Hey there, Acapulco. And there are the Diplos. I'm gonna feed a few of these guys just because I need like six more poops. And if I just throw some food down, they're gonna... Oh, what are you doing? You're scanning. And he, he, it looks like he said, oh, I gotta pet him. All right, he's good now. So I'm gonna go ahead and adopt one of these guys. That's gonna give me the three. Oh, can I? Uh, registry's full. Okay, so I need 500. I've got 500 nanites. There we go. Now I can get one. Adopt companion. Thank you so much. I got three of them now. And if y'all would poop, I just need six of them. All right, I have picked up <laughs> digestive analysis. That is funny. So I've got enough poop and where's my ship? I know it's up there. There it is. Um, let me see. There you are. Come here. Come here, Kronos. Let's uh, go ahead and pet you. Let's get you happy. Um, 24 hours to get an egg. Oh my God. What about this other thing? Not you, you. Come here. How long till you give me an egg? 24 hours. I should have got this thing before. Oh my God. So let's go ahead and collect this stuff. Oh, I guess that's for when I have to go to into the water. And this is all kinds of other water stuff. So I guess whichever ever phase that is, that it is going to have, I guess phase four is gonna be on a water planet. So let's go, let's initialize this one and let's go to the rendezvous too. So I got the expedition route again and I can go to the thing right away. And it is three, almost 300 light years away. Oh, and it looks like I jumped into a freighter battle. Damn it, this is only my second warp. What's going on? All right, I'm gonna take these guys out real quick, I guess. And this should be the last one right there. Boom, attackers defeated, our attacks defeated. And I'm just gonna go ahead and claim this stupid thing. So this is the freighter. Oh my God, it's ugly. I don't know if I'm gonna need it later, but why not just go ahead and get it? It's gonna be free. So scan it, it is an A, it is 18 slots. It is worth 13 million units. Just come up here, go to the bridge. Let's talk to this guy. You better give me this thing free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about your life story. And I'm going to claim it. I didn't see anything about sending out missions or anything, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to head back out. I'm going to go to the space station. I forgot to go to the space station in the last system because I need to... There was something about I need to scan a creature and earn 200,000 units for scanning it. It's either that or total. I don't think, I don't know which one it is, but either way, I'm gonna have to get some stuff to upgrade my scanner. So I am going to need to check every single station and buy scanner modules. I've got 848 nanites, need to get a few more. And there was something I need to, I think my, the Explorers Guild, because I needed to go to the space station at the other one and I needed to go over here and talk to this mission agent. See if you have any Explorer Guild stuff. Merchant, Korvac Standing, Explorer. Take a photo of a Marsh World. I think I have to go to a Marsh World anyway. So thank you very much. And then just come over here to the other side. I am going to look at this multi-tool and see what, what it looks like here. It's a B. It's got a lot of slots, better than mine. And what do you got for sale? C scanner, uh, S mining, L and S scanner. Ooh, I need some more nanites. I want to buy another one of those. So I'm going to install that. I'm going to put it right there. And, oh, I had the 
I think I have upgrade slots that I got as a reward for something. And I'm going to install one right there. And I guess the other one's going there. Wow, how many did I get? Damn, I'm hooked up. So because I took that mission from the mission agent, I need to come back over here and do that. And while I'm down there, I need to look for a beetle. So it looks like this one is maybe going to be at some kind of ancient relic or a portal or something. So just like last time, I'm going to just fly around and look for something. Now, if I wasn't on the Switch, because I don't have, because the Switch doesn't have multiplayer, and sometimes I can see other bases, but for some reason, this time I can't. But I would look for a base or look for something, some combos that might be able to help me out to find the rendezvous to, oh look, here's something. I don't think this is gonna be what I'm looking for, but I haven't been able to find the place. I don't think this is it. Oh, look at that. That happened to me earlier. Oh, that happened earlier when I first started up the game. Did you notice the strobe light? Yeah, look at that. That's something I'm gonna have to reload my save. I had to do that before. When I first came back into the game, I had to reload my auto save because it went crazy like that. Let's see, 800 you that way. So I'm gonna go out there, hop in my ship, hop back out, reload the auto save hopefully that mess is gonna be gone. All right, I'm back. I had to quit totally out of the game. And look at that, now these communication stations are showing up. Oh my God. Yeah, so I reloaded the autosave, that didn't help at all. And so I had to totally quit out of the game, had to quit the game also, and then it started working. See that, look at that, that's totally different. <laughs> It's at a different spot, I think. The, the little icon looks different. So something happened on that last little save reload. So if that happens to you and the entire sky is just a big disco ball, quit out of the game and come back in. And now we can see fish research, lighthouse. Now we can see other people's bases. I've been flying around again and I still can't see. I think we get that all the time. The landing's not clear because it loads up slower. I'm gonna have to come up here and do this stupid thing. Too weak. I'm gonna try that commu- No, I'm not gonna try that communication station. Maybe that save beacon? No, that's too far away too. Oh, so there's the communication station and it's this thing. There's a few of them here. I th oh, there's a bunch of them here. I bet this is probably the place. Look at all that. There we up. Vermont and something else from seaweed. There's a beetle. I knew it. Offered food. Oh, I'm gonna have to, hold on. Oh, yeah, um, I need to get rid of a companion. Wait a second, don't leave. I need to go to this and I'm gonna get rid of you. So R right there, abandon, you're gone. You, come here, don't fly away, adopt. Awesome, got him. And now there's one I need to fly. Where'd you go? Where are you going? Get over here. Let's pet him. But there was something I need to ride. So I'm just gonna ride around here. Oh, I got it. I had to fly for 2,000 you. Oh, I found out two things. Oh, and you pooped. I think I already got the poop one. But I got it anyway. I found out two things while flying around on that beetle. One thing, beetles are freaking slow. It took me forever to get 2,000 U on him. And if your beetle touches the water while you're on it, it's gonna kick you off. So just kind of like arc. If you're flying a dino and you touch the water with it, you're gonna get kicked off. Okay, so I got one flying creature. Did I scan you? Yeah, I scanned y'all. Um, there's a different beetle? There's two types of beetles on this planet. Hopefully those count as a, what, of the flying creature. I did see another flying creature around here, but it became nighttime. I flew around on that stupid thing for so long and it probably went to sleep. What I am going to do is there's that base that I saw, something about underwater research fish research, whatever. I'm gonna go to that base and see what's there. There it is, fish research. It's off planet. I'm coming up to the fish research station and oh, it's nice that they made some landing pads. And this is another water planet, so that is nice. And there's some stuff there. And one thing, look at the water and the switch just perfectly clear. That's kind of why I didn't know I was underwater before when I first started this game. Or when I started, I started underwater. I didn't realize it because the water's perfectly clear. So I'm hoping one of those abysmal horror, whatever the hell it is, is in here. And do, it, I, do I need to find fish? 
I think I needed to find fish too. All right, I scanned a bunch of the fish and I don't see, all I see is armored clams. All right, so if fish are a thing that you need to scan, then the fish research station is a pretty good place for that. Other than that, I don't see anything else. I'm gonna claim this stuff. All right, got some more nanites. Oh, how many nanites do I have now? 1,200, I can go get another thing with the, uh, what to call it? My scanner, I can get that upgraded. Okay, I don't think I really need that. And yeah, hazmat got was blah, 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 and more nanites. Ooh, they're just handing out nanites like crazy. And the wingspan, go, I got rocket boots. I don't like rocket boots. Let's see what else now we do the mad scientist now we need to go to the space anomaly and discover four flying creatures are there any flying creatures on this planet so this has one flying creature on it it looks like it's nowhere around here i'm gonna go somewhere else on the planet and see if i can find it oh there it is i was getting ready to give up all right i've discovered four of eight on here and let's see how many more flying creatures just need one more. And I noticed I came over here and I can look at the planet. Is this gonna tell me if they have flying? Oh, common flying. And that is on Ballerina Omega, big blue planet. That might've been where I was before. All right, there it is. I'm going to make a pit stop at the space station. I'm going to pick up another scanner module. Then I am going to head over to the Ballerina Omega planet and scan me a flying creature. Oh, and this is an icebound planet. Look at that. And I came over to the sunny side of the planet because I remember it said this creature was diurnal or something like that which means it only comes out during the day. And if I can find a place to land, I'm gonna start looking for it. There we go, finally found a place that would let me land. And now we wait. And this is an extreme planet, so that, that, that just adds so much more to it. Oh, and now we got a storm. And I still haven't seen any flying creatures. I've seen a couple land creatures. I scanned them and I did not get 200,000 units. Storm crystals. Huh. All right, I'm going to the original planet that I came to, the one that had the place with the rendezvous. I believe it's that planet right there. Beach barbecue. Oh, look, there's a sentinel place. Yeah, I should have come to this planet just to begin with. I know there's the flying creatures here, but I just can't land. There we go, finally. There's the beetles and there's that. There's another flying creature I saw. Come on. I just, oh, there it is. There it is. Get it. Oh shit. I let go. There, I'm getting it. Woohoo. Or so by out. Yeah, whatever the hell that word is. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's get, let's get that one. And this next one's going to be easy. This, all I have to do is call in the space anomaly. And I'm going to have to wait 24 hours for any of my new pets to give me an egg. So I'm gonna have to wait on that, but I will be able to finish this phase pretty quickly. I think I have about two hours in the game right now, and I've done pretty much all of, well, I've done all of phase one. Oh my God, why am I going so slow? But I've done all of phase one. I have done phase two. I'm getting ready to finish it. And I've done quite a few of the other ones. So I think maybe four hours I could complete this. I wanted to do a speed run, which I'm not a speed runner. I could probably do it in a hell of a lot less time than that. But it's showing me that cracked egg, and that's where I gotta go. So here's the egg sequencer, and I need to put an egg in there. Boom. And now I need to put some stuff. Let's do height stuff. Let's put a geode in there. Oh, it's gonna decrease the height. Let's make it big, though. Let's put poop in there. That's gonna decrease the height. There we go. Phosphorus is gonna make it go um, bigger. Um, and let's do let's put the geo there who knows what it's gonna make it unstable all right that's all i need we don't have to do all of them here we go Modif modification complete and it is going to be very large and aggressive sweet so that was the last one in this boom collect all that stuff some nip dip um and other stuff and there's chronos back behind me that's what i'm gonna have to feed a cake to so now i can collect this this one is going to give me poster yeah three posters yeah the posters are not what i'm looking for so the next one phase three 
I need to get those eggs. I have not explored any kind of specific worlds. And I'm going to have to come back here to Kronos and bake him a cake. So I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this and have a good day.